Hey, welcome back everyone. Toys is here and a very happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. Heck, we'll just say fellow Ninja Turtle enthusiasts. We got a bit of an early look that comes courtesy of my friends over at Playmates Toys at a ton of their brand new upcoming TMNT Mutant Mayhem movie toy line. Starting it off with the four turtles, the Turtle Bros, Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, and Raphael. Of course, we have to kick it off with Leonardo, the leader, the blue one. Great packaging overall, very nice to see. I like that each one has a little bit of a tagline on it, right? And you get a figure for 10 bucks that's loaded with weapons and accessories. TMNT artwork galore, I really like how that represents the movie. Very cool, very excited to see that. On the back side, you have characters galore. They're all getting action figures eventually. This is basically like wave one. You can screen grab all this just to see the characters that are coming. Superfly, Leatherhead, Bebop, Rocksteady, Splinter, and be sure to read these. These are actually quite cool. And here's the barcode for Leonardo. These will start to hit store shelves on June 25th. Raphael, of course, the angry one. A little bit of a different design incorporating some of the more new concepts for Raphael, which eh, kind of works, kind of doesn't at the same time for me. I like the old Ninja Turtles. That's just kind of how I am. But again, read these. These are a lot of fun. Here's the barcode for Raph. And we have the brains of the outfit. Again, I like that for 10 bucks. They're really packing the box, gives a lot of value. These are kids' toys through and through. You have Donatello doing his thing, doing machines, whatever he's gonna do in this new movie. Apparently he wants to be a K-pop star by night. Kind of funny. Here's the barcode for Donnie as well, which leaves us with Michelangelo, Mikey, the orange one, the goofball, right? But in this sense, he's now the entertainer, which is interesting, again, all the characters, all the write-up, all the packaging, basically the same. They have a little clip and connect. No pizza points. I really wish they had brought back pizza points. And here is Mikey's barcode. So, of course, that wraps it up for the four Turtle Bros that are released as singles. Again, June 25th. I'll have affiliate links down in the description below if you're interested. Now, we have character packs that come with vehicles in the form of the Ninja Kick Cycle and the Battle Cycle. The Ninja Kick Cycle, which kind of got to fiddle around with at New York when they revealed these, right? Had a video on that way back a couple months ago, not too long ago. But I like that you get a figure and you get a vehicle as well. It's a bit of an exclusive Leonardo, we'll just say. He comes with a helmet and he can do some side-to-side -side ninja kicking action, right? So you got Ninja Star firing action, ninja kicking action. On the back side, it shows you exactly what you do. You twist a little pizza. We'll get into that, of course. Screen grab this if you'd like to read up on old Leo. And again, it's nice to see that they're using a lot of mutants that we know and love, like Leatherhead and Bebop and Rocksteady and all the other cool mutants that we've all grown up with and newcomers get to grow up with now. Here's the barcode for the Ninja Kick cycle, as well as the Battle Cycle. And this one comes with an exclusive Raphael. Raphael has a helmet as well, right? Leonardo gets a helmet, Raphael gets a helmet. You get the idea. Bit of a difference I'll show you coming up. The Battle Cycle, right, is very reminiscent of uh, an old Playmates toy, right? The Turtle Cycle. Very cool, you get to really see it and showcase it on the back side. And I absolutely love that. So you get basically a vehicle for two characters, right? You can screen grab this if you wanna read up on the battle cycle with old Raphael. And again, there's two ways to battle, from the front or the back. Here's the barcode as well. I'm really hoping this is in the movie. That'll be very cool. But with all the turtle figures, well, you, you need the ultimate transportation in the form of the party wagon, or how it's now called the pizza fire van, which is the party wagon and the pizza thrower combined. And when I saw that in New York, I was like, genius, you nailed it. So I'm very excited to finally check this out. It's got pizza lunch in action, right? Very cool on the front and the back and all the sides. It tells you it fits all your figures. 
it's kind of a carry case as well as a vehicle, right? Kind of a play set. Launches up to eight fresh pizza pies, which now that I think about it, I'm kind of getting hungry. And you get to fire all the little pizzas and hit Bebop and I'm sure Leatherhead, you push down on the pizza slice. I'm sure you've seen the video. And again, we'll look at this in great detail, but it's just very cool. I'm very excited to check all these out. This is going to be an absolute blast. A lot of stuff to talk about here. And again, it tells you everything that it comes with. You get the van, you get the eight pizza discs, and you got some more characters, of course, to collect. But just don't lose the pizza discs, right? That's that's always a thing. A lot of characters are coming soon. Just keep that in mind. And of course, here's the barcode for the old pizza fire van. Very excited for this. This movie looks very interesting. I love the art style, the animation style that they got going on here. It's very intriguing, very cool looking, and plus it's a brand new take on the Ninja Turtles, which, heck, I'm always happy to see. I always love the cartoon and the Mirage comics and the Archie comics and everything else, but it's fun for the kiddos, right? Which through and through, this is a kid's toy line, so keep that in mind. Low prices, very basic figures with a lot going on, very playset-ish, very vehicle-ish. Keep that in mind. It's, it's just toys, right? Let's have some fun with this. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is an early look at some of the brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem action figures, vehicles, and whatnot by Playmates Toys. And while I got all you mutants here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates, Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So here's everything out of the packaging, right? For the four single turtles, we'll kick it off with Mikey. He comes with some nunchucks. They're not bendy. They're just plastic. They're not real chains. They're toys, right? You get two of those. Nice to see. And each of the turtles comes with a baby turtle, like a pre-mutation Ninja Turtle, which hey, it's all one color. So very Playmates toys, right? Very evocative of what came before, especially with the weapons tree right here. Now, I am going to keep these intact for this video. I will undo these later, but you see you get Ninja Stars, you get a broken TCR a canister or a mutagen canister. You get a bunch of different weapons, piece of pizza, nunchuck, microphone. You get the idea. So again, very much old school Ninja Turtles, which I like to see while incorporating something new, like this Michelangelo. And he's adorable. That's a very cool looking Mikey. I totally dig that. Very different looking. Now, real quick, I want to give a special shout out to Phil Ramirez. If you don't know Phil, he is the sculptor of a lot of old Ninja Turtles, including the Ninja Turtles that we're going to be checking out. So if you have these ones, yeah, Phil definitely did that. Toy Biz, all that jazz. If you head over to his Instagram, you get a little bit of a behind the scenes look at all these Mutant Mayhem turtles, and I highly recommend it. It's very fascinating. So, you did a great job. Please check him out. This is a very cool line. It's going back to its roots, and you can totally see what they're doing here. The belts do not come off, right? I'm just going to tell you that. Thought they might, they definitely don't. Plenty of articulation for this for being more of a basic toy line for children. There is a lot of articulation here from the arms to the elbows which spin with the wrists. There's nothing at the waist but the legs will kick out. They'll kick side to side. You got the knees and the feet. I'm not a huge fan of how the legs move but they've definitely been improved upon since the rise of the TMNT days. Let's just say that. The knees just go really easy when you're first kind of playing with these. Get to know the joints. You don't want to bend them either which way, right? But once you get them all going, there's nothing that you have to heat up. Nothing like that. But just make sure you kind of have an understanding. Kids will figure it out. They're smart like that. You got peg holes on the bottom. Big peg holes on the bottom. You'll see why in just a few. On the back side, the belt. Very reminiscent of the old original Michelangelo by Playmates. You can slip the weapons in just like this. And for the most part, they will pretty much stay in there. If you kind of knock the chain part a little bit, you'll end up knocking them out. Kind of looks funny from the front. But again, I'm not going to think too much about this. He holds them nicely. They look good. They're just good old-fashioned Ninja Turtle toys. And for those of you collectors out there, 
You want to pose them out and do all that crazy stuff? Yeah, it totally works for that as well. But these are the toy line, not collectors, and I'm thrilled to say that. Now, next up, we got Donatello, and he comes with, of course, his bow staff, right? It's all one solid color. I would have loved if they give in a little bit of differentiation to the wrappings, but what's really cool, if you look at the artwork on the box and such, it has little sculpted details that the bow staff has. So that's a nice little attention to detail. Again, you got the little baby turtle that's very reminiscent of the color scheme for Donatello, more of a sickly green. You get some headphones, which are totally cool. Now, they do look a little bit goofy if you try to put them around his turtle ears, but if you put them around his neck, which I'm pretty sure that's what they're there for, it works fine. They're very gummy, so they'll work nicely for you. You got the weapons tree. Each of the turtles comes with a different weapons tree, so that's cool to see. So you got a full unbroken canister. You got a piece of pizza that's a full slice. A couple other things here and there. Again, very reminiscent of the old turtles. Donatello looking very cool. Now, it's kind of grown on me to include glasses with Donatello. It's not my favorites, but I don't really mind it. It's different for this version. Now, right here, I thought the fanny pack with a cell phone could come off. It can kind of, sort of, but not really at the same time. It's kind of sculpted in there, we'll just say, especially when you start traversing it around the shell. Everything's glued in appropriately. So no, the fanny pack does not come off on this Donatello. You can kind of move it around if you want, but no, the cell phone doesn't come out. That would have been a cool touch, right? The glasses, the purple, the green, everything works for this Donatello. He'll have basically the same articulation as Michelangelo. All the turtles basically have the same articulation. There's nothing too crazy about each one that one would have something different. He's got some weapon storage on the back right there. It's just like the old Donatello weapon storage that we know and love, which totally works. Again, the phone, fanny pack won't come off but the glasses come off. And I think a lot of people out there will go, oh, that's pretty cool, me included. Now, he will have holes on the side of his head, of course, but then it harkens back a little bit more to the traditional look of Donatello, which I definitely don't mind. He's also got the one mouth open, like the old Ninja Turtles. You kind of see the resemblance as you keep looking at these, and they're a lot of fun in that sense. Again, like I said, same exact articulation, you can put the glasses on, you can leave the glasses off, it's up to you. They fix perfect if you want to go either which way. And of course, you can get Donnie hold the bow staff in that very traditional way. It's nice to see. It's very much the old school Ninja Turtles while incorporating new fans into the mix. Donnie is a great looking character. He's got weapon storage. You can have a lot of fun with this guy. So he's definitely a fun turtle. Now, next up. We're going for Leonardo the leader. Again, he's got that little baby turtle that represents him before the whole Mugen thing, and he comes with a pair of katanas. I like that there's some differentiation. It's not solid colors, but the orangey brown kind of reminiscent of the original Ninja Turtle line, right? So this time around, the weapons tree for Leonardo, and then you'll see for Raph, are silver instead of the orange, which again, that totally works as well. Very old school playmates into turtles, various weapons, yada, yada. I'll post more photos when I cut all these off and we'll look at them in detail. Leonardo himself. I honestly think that Leo fares the best in terms of just the more classic look for Ninja Turtles. While also again, being something new with that art style. It's very subtly incorporated, but not overly painted because then the prices would go up, and we don't want that. Plenty of weapon storage in the back for the katanas, as you can clearly see. So again, very old school while doing something new. Ah, very nice. Totally dig that. I like the color scheme for Leo. He's got a nice green. He's got a nice blue. All the articulation you would expect from these new Ninja Turtle figures. So again, nothing crazy. The head moves, the hands all that jazz. So you can get them into some pretty decent poses, we'll just say, again, for being an articulated kid's figure, right? So you can have one katana out, reaching back for the other one, have them out in that traditional sense, is getting ready to attack the Foot Clan, right? Or whatever this new movie will entail, and just really pose him out nicely. Make sure you get the katanas all the way down, put one on the back, have him holding them. It's very cool. Really like Leonardo. Which then finally brings us to... Raphael, the mean one, right? The rude Raphael. I'm glad he's keeping that character traits. Again, same exact Ninja Turtle, yada, yada. 
He's got his side. These are pretty cool, I have to say. They're very evocative of that cool art style that I got going on. Now, right here, it looks like either a tire tread or wrapping, something like that. Maybe in the movie, one of his side gets run over. Who knows? But they're a little bit different, and I like that. Now, you got the silver weapons tree right here. Raph gets a little bit more of those brutal weapons while getting a broken TCRI mutagen canister, piece of pizza, yada yada, and Raphael himself. Now again, very much for me, I like the traditional sense of the Ninja Turtles and their masks. Most recently with the movies, Rise of the TMNT, he started getting like more of a do-rag kind of full head cover for the bandana. It's okay. It's just, yeah, whatever. I'm not going to fault him for it. You got weapon storage. You got the red wrappings for Raph, the belt, the shell. Everything looks pretty good. Everything is sculpted beautifully. Phil Ramirez, remember, look him up. Did a great job. Like I said, weapon storage. They go in really nicely, just like that. Although I will say, because the position of the holsters for the Psy, you kind of have to kind of fuddle with his uh, arms a little bit. They kind of go off to the side but he does hold them very well. I think kids overall will be very happy with getting some cool Ninja Turtle toys. They hold other weapons, they stand well, they pose well. These are quite nice figures. And when you have all four Turtle Bros together with this new art style, especially Mikey, I love Mikey's face, Leonardo, Donatello with his glasses, Raphael with the do-rag, it's fun. These are fun toys. Now, to just kind of see the scale at you, right? These new Mutant Mayhem figures will fall somewhere between Rise of the TMNT, various playmates here and there, and then the cartoon NECA. So you get to see that I'm a crazy person. It's not even close to the amount of Ninja Turtle figures that I have, especially for Raphael. Thank God we're just using one character, right? But they are nicely done. They're nicely scaled. You can have a lot of fun, like with an upcoming play sets and vehicles and whatnot. So very cool overall. Now, we have the characters with the respective vehicles. So these are a bit of a two-pack, which is nice to see. And of course, the first one we'll look at will be the Ninja Kick Cycle that comes with the exclusive Leonardo. Now, if you're wondering, uh, oh man, I don't have Toysh's video. How am I supposed to do this? Well, here's the instructions, right? Just in case you run into that problem, maybe some months, some years down the road, you don't have the instructions. Here you go. So it tells you everything it does. It shoots out some ninja stars, it'll kick Leonardo around. I'll show you in just a second. Leonardo comes with these same exact katanas as the single release, as well as some blades that the vehicle will shoot out. They're fairly soft, they're not gonna do any damage, but if it hits you in the eye, you're definitely not gonna like that. Kids, don't shoot these at animals and whatnot, all right? Now, the one thing though is, the ninja cycle does not stay up on its own. And that's one thing where it's very frustrating when you want to display this, right? You always kind of have to lean it up against something. More on that in just a few. Leonardo himself, like I just said, there's a couple differences. One being, of course, the helmeted head and then his hands. He's got the same weapon storage. But it all depends if you want the helmeted figure that comes with a vehicle. Otherwise, for the most part it's largely going to be the same as the single Leonardo release. The single Leonardo, if you have that figure, will be able to fit on the Ninja Cycle as well. So that is nice to see. There's a lot of playability here with all these vehicles and figures and whatnot. You got the weapon storage. You got his large, oversized hands, if you hadn't noticed that. But that'll be good for this Ninja bike for when he holds onto the handlebars. The bike itself is... Okay, it's not a whole lot going on. There's pizza slices everywhere. It's very Ninja Turtles-ish. But it's also kind of like, yeah, it's kind of boring. You got the sewer lid right there for New York. It says TMNT sewer. It should say New York sewer, to be honest with you. You got greens and browns. It's not the most eye-catching bike, we'll just say. I like that you have a little bit of a weapon storage right here if you wanted to go that route, but it's only on one side, which is kind of odd to me, right? You'd expect to have two. Now, you can put the disc in the pizza box. You push down on the pizza, and it launches. So that's cool. And it launches with some pretty good force, right? Kids will have fun with that. The one thing, though, is that if you hit a figure with it, it really doesn't do a whole heck of a lot. But I'll aim it at the camera and fire and see... 
it, it's just very soft, so it's not going to do a whole lot of damage. But it hits you in the eye. Just be careful. You fit Leonardo on the bike just like so. Now, if you just want to keep his legs down, he's just doing traditional driving around New York kind of situation. Yeah, you can totally do that. He totally fits on the bike appropriately. Now, what the instructions say, and what I found out when I saw these in New York, is that you simply kick his legs out just like that. You can kind of experiment with it, right? You kind of figure out how you kind of want to do it. You twist the pizza, and the handlebars will then launch up and allow you to kick a villain in the face, right? So that's kind of fun. Kids will have fun with that all day. It is fun, and at the same time, it's kind of like, yeah, it's not my favorite, we'll just say. To really show you, until we get some villains going on, you kind of have to aim it and kind of get in there. It's not very like, oh, that's perfect. You can also kick Michelangelo in the face. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's okay. Again, it's not my favorites. Definitely not my favorite out of the vehicles, we'll just say. It's cool that it shoots things, right? I totally dig that. Very old school. It bothers me that it doesn't have a kickstand, something to keep it upright. So that's kind of like where the negative detraction comes from. But overall, it's just largely, yeah, it's okay. Now, in juxtaposition to that, we have Raphael with the battle cycle. And I think the battle cycle definitely fares a whole heck of a lot better. It has nostalgia to it. It has a nunchuck for Michelangelo that's a little bit different than his single release. And I kind of like these better, to be honest with you. You get the same exact pair of Psy for Raphael. There's no difference there. Raphael has a little bit of a different aspect to him in the, the head. As you can clearly see, the belts, the legs, the arms, those are the same. The head is a little bit bigger because it has the helmet. But the belts, around the midsection, maybe it's a different mold, something like that. He just looks a little bit bigger, right? So there's a couple changes here and there, but mostly very subtle. And the head, I think, is a little bit too big. Yeah, he's got a helmet and such on. Again, he's just okay. It's kind of a mishmash between Leonardo and Raphael with the two vehicles. Like, I like one thing, I like the other. But I definitely like the vehicle for the battle cycle. That's a lot of fun. It's got the whole trash can thing. There's a lot more going on with this. A little bit more of that, oh, this is fun, right? This is doing something. I'm having fun with it. It's got some stickers. It's got some paint. It's got some color. Right here, you can kind of see on the sides, you can incorporate the weapons if you'd like. You have the wheels, which all spin, which I totally dig that, right? It's always nice to have vehicles that have wheels. Like I said, you can slip in raft size right there on the side, on both sides, actually. So again, that's where Leonardo's vehicle kind of is like, eh, it's kind of weird. You just have a lot more going on for this cycle. So I think there's a little bit more fun to be had, or more for collectors, a little bit more displayability options. Now right here, you can attach Michelangelo's nunchuck. So if you're driving by an enemy, it'll kind of flip out and knock them right in the legs. And I totally dig that. The trash can aspect for the sidecar, which is kind of cool. You can keep it on the side or you can have it to where it's kind of following behind. So I'm sure that if this pops up in the movie, it'll be something where they're being trailed and then they go up next to them and they can kind of flip and morph and do all that kind of stuff. So I definitely dig that. You know Donatello had a hand in building this. If it doesn't show up, it's just kind of a nice vehicle. I think that it's just kind of fun to be able to have that option. And especially because it's a two-seater vehicle, that adds a little bit more oomph to it. And I totally dig that you can create what exactly is shown on the box. Raphael driving, Michelangelo in the little sidecar doing his thing with the nunchuck way down at the bottom on the wheel, two in hand. That's fun for displayability options. And again, kind of having Michelangelo in the back, having it kind of morph, twist, and turn to what you want it to do. There's a lot of play features here for the kiddos. Now, just to kind of show you, it doesn't have to be Raphael driving all the time. You can incorporate any Ninja Turtles, so playability is endless in that sense. And yes, for me, for having my original turtle cycle, or what's left of it, that is, I think, why I'm gravitating more towards this one. It's very fun. It very much evokes all the nostalgia for me as an old-school Ninja Turtle collector, 
But for kids in that sense, I just think there's a little bit more to do. Sure, they'll get a kick, no pun intended at Leo's, but the battle cycle is just cooler. While I do like everything they've incorporated into Leonardo's cycle, again, kids might gravitate more towards that. But for the collectors, nostalgia and all that jazz, yeah, the battle cycle is just where it's at. I really love the heck out of this thing. Now again, those vehicles are fine and dandy, but we need more of a party wagon situation. And that is where the new pizza fire van comes in. Now I'm gonna warn you, there is a ton of stickers to apply. So kiddos, definitely get your parents. Parents, if you're watching this, don't let the kids do it. The stickers are something else. <laughs> Just gonna say. In fact, there's a lot to really create this van, but it's very easy, it's very intuitive. You get the idea. Open up all the bags, kind of give yourself some room, get the pizza, get the wheels, get all the attachments, get the stickers. And I wasn't joking about the stickers. There are a ton. And there is a ton of teensy tiny ones you got to put on lights. Get your instruction booklet. That comes in the van. Again, very intuitive. It's very easy. I didn't screw anything up, thank God. But I came close. But yeah, let's get to a build in here. One thing I want to point out. Adults, you need three AA batteries, mini screwdriver, and yeah, you're gonna be going into this thing because it shoots the pizzas. Load up the pizzas, don't forget that. You get all the stickers, all the parts, all the pieces, and bingo, bango, you got yourself a pizza fire van. It's very much reminiscent of prior TMNT party wagons that Playmates have done over the years, while also being something different. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But this one, is a little bit more simplistic, relies heavily on stickers and whatnot, which is definitely not a problem, but it's just a little bit more simplified in some sense. You got the license plate, you got the windows, you got all this allusion to pizza. It's always pizza time for these turtle bros, right? And you can get inside and it's very much a carry case. You can host a lot of figures in this, a lot of displayability options, a lot of play features, push down on the pizza, and boom, the uh, pizza thrower will fling out, which again, much like the original Playmates party wagon, I always had that mechanism where it would kick flip out and knock the foot, push down on this, make sure it's turned on, and you can start to fire all the pizzas out. Don't lose the pizzas like I used to do all the time. In fact, I would kind of gauge, kind of figure it out. Once you kind of get going, once you kind of master it, this. this thing is awesome. I love the fact that they incorporated the two. That's pretty cool. Turtle power posted everywhere, right? The Ninja Turtles go in the party wagon flawlessly. There's no windows. They just simply fit right in there. Very easy to remove and put them in there. Michelangelo on the pizza thrower. Very cool. He's got a little scope, which I guess that works, right? But it's nice to see. I love how they have had so much room in this to then allow kids a lot of play feature, a lot of function. Leonardo in the back doing his thing, holding on. Again, there's no windows, but you can get the figures in and out at ease. There's a lot of different ways that you can incorporate the figures on this vehicle slash play set. So Donatello, he can be driving. You can have Raphael at the top holding on to all the bars, right? So he's pretty much stationed up there. That's pretty cool. You can have figures hanging off the back of the van. I love that. That's where the big old foot pegs come in, right? And you can incorporate Michelangelo on the back, kind of slipping his feet underneath the bars. I like that. They're all situated and it makes for, again, a nice display. Right here at the top with the mechanism. You push down the pizza. It's gonna flip out and just murder him. <laughs> On the back side, you got Leonardo, Michelangelo, Raphael. A lot of space, a lot of carry case space. Kids taking it to their grandmothers for the weekend, right? No sense in getting a carry case, just use the van. And just to point out, all the vehicles we prior looked at, all the turtle figures we've now looked at, they all scale very nicely with this party wagon. Playmates, I thank you for the attention to detail and the scaling. I totally dig that. Now, 
right here when you push down you can totally have mikey on the pizza thrower while it's inside while it launches out you can angle the pizza thrower fire him ridiculously at raf now one thing i would tell you if you push the button too many times it can kind of get locked just kind of release it and it'll fix itself the raphael battle cycle you can kind of sort of have that where uh, the trunk opened up and he gets launched out right or you can full-blown put that battle cycle in the trunk, fold it up nicely, put the turtles in there. Again, nice element of a carry case. And just to kind of show you the scale chart between the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles party wagon and this new pizza thrower party wagon, we'll just say the original is a little bit shorter, a little bit more boxy. The new one's a little bit longer, right? Basically has a lot of the elements that you see over and over with a lot of different pizza party wagons and whatnot. So again, the nostalgia there, the toyetic fun is there, the carry case, the ability to put a bunch of figures in there, it's all there. That's nice to see. And if you were wondering, yes, the original Playmates, Rise of the TMNT, the new Mutant Mayhems will totally work with this party wagon. What won't work? NECA Toys, Super 7, the larger Playmates, those just won't work. So. That's your heads up, right? If you're planning on getting this party wagon for the larger NECA stuff, it's not going to work. So that is going to wrap it up for my early look at some of the brand new Playmates toys, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem action figures and vehicles. And of course, action figures with vehicles. And again, special shout out and a thank you to Playmates toys for sending things out for the purposes of this early look. I had a great time, and I hope you did as well. These are going to be great for kids, for older collectors, adults, those that have younger kids that collect into turtles. Now the kids can have something to play with that aren't too expensive and will last, right? Nothing you have to worry about breaking. Never had any of those problems with this, so they're overall just solid, fun toys. But you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything TMNT Mutant Mayhem. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, stay tuned. We should have some more looks at some of the Mutant Mayhems that are coming soon. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.